like and subscribe in the next five seconds or meowsicles will be in your bed tonight trust me you don't want to risk it guys i was joking just a joke unless what's going on guys it's just hk here and i'm back with another video and today in this video it's going to be really important for you guys to watch it it is how to make your fortnite run smoother how to get like you know higher fps how to get rid of lag spikes uh you guys don't you know uh glitch out of the game and stuff so with that said let's hop straight into the video now i do have some experience with you know increasing fps and lowering lag lowering ping and stuff like that i have made uh, quite a bit of videos on all of that but this video is kind of going to be a general topic of how to make your game run smoother so that does include lowering ping that does include um you know hiring your fps and no lag spikes uh, as i said before it's kind of like a three-in-one video it's like the ultimate guide uh for console especially xbox so if you guys are on xbox or ps4 be sure to like the video because this one is specifically for you and quickly before we start the video and the method i would like to let you guys know that i do have a supporter creator code just hk i would appreciate it a ton if you guys you know if you have the time just you know be sure to use my code in the item shop because i make a ton of giveaways for you and since we hit a hundred thousand about two weeks ago now it's crazy how we've gone so much further than that in like only two weeks but basically i am doing a 250 dollars giveaway you're probably seeing it on the screen right now and yeah you guys can enter if you want there's three simple steps and yeah they're really easy one steps uh just be sure to screenshot send them to me in my dms either instagram or twitter and yeah it's gonna be just 250 dollars it doesn't have to be a gift card you guys can get paypal or venmo as well and with that said let's hop straight into the method now the very first thing you guys want to do will be in your fortnite settings so no matter if you're on ps4 no matter if you're on xbox this is going to be essential it's going to be crucial for all of you guys that are playing this might yeah this even works for pc any console as long as they are you know a console or a pc uh, i'm pretty sure it doesn't work on mobile but i'm guessing not a lot of mobile people are watching this so you guys obviously want to go over to you know what? we're gonna go back to the very first uh tab right here for most of my xbox one x users you guys will have an option right here to actually turn on or off motion blur i would recommend turning it off because first of all there's like less lag spikes la uh, less lag spikes if you guys actually turn this off because you know it takes up a lot more uh you know time to make the animation of like you know making it smoother and stuff so obviously i would like to have that off show fps on but that you know that's personal preference i like to keep that on next you guys want to go to the second tab and scroll all the way down until you actually find the very last one it's called replays and i've made a ton of videos about how you guys can lower ping how you guys can actually you know make your game not lag and this is the main setting that you guys should be turning off if you want that to happen if you guys are experiencing a ton of lag spike a ton of frame rate drops you guys be sure to turn off your uh replays because most of the time i'm guessing most of you guys if you aren't youtubers you don't really use the replay mode because you know i use it for my thumbnails and my screenshots and stuff but obviously for some of you guys that just want to play and have fun you guys just be sure to turn it off you know it's a quality of life setting makes it a lot better and uh yeah you guys do see if you read the description it does take up hard drive space and that's not good so that is the most you guys can do on your actual xbox or on your fortnite settings there's really not much else you guys can do other than like rejecting all your friend requests which uh you know obviously clears up some cash space so uh now that we are done with the in-game fortnite settings we're gonna hop into the actual um you know xbox one or ps4 settings hopefully you guys uh in the ps4 section you guys will understand what i'm kind of doing but yeah the very first thing you guys want to do this is going to kind of go into the lower ping aspect of things you guys actually want to go over to your network settings now and uh yeah we're going to go over all the way to i believe uh where is it where is it where is it advanced settings i'm sorry it's a little slow but first of all before we actually get into this if you guys do have an ethernet cable and if you don't know what that means they're like three or four dollars on amazon if you guys can tell your mom or dad or you can just buy it yourself 
they're really worth it for what you're getting you guys are getting a wired connection and it's gonna make your Wi-Fi a lot better a lot faster so I'll definitely uh, like you know invest in a Ethernet cable to connect to your router but if you guys have that you know just that's optional next up we're gonna go to, over to the advanced settings I'm gonna have to blur the right side of the screen it got my IP whatever you guys want to obviously go down to the DNS settings right here and uh, yours should be set on automatic if you've never touched this before you guys want to actually change that to manual so we're gonna press it right there and you guys do see that uh, I already have it uh, set since you know I'm I'm ahead of my game you know so you guys obviously want to type in 1.1.1.1 so just four ones like that and we're gonna press that right there and we could go to our secondary FPS or FPS uh, IP and you guys basically want to put 1.0.0.1 and these are basically I believe either Cloudflare or Google servers and this will make your uh, ping a lot lower than it usually was depending on where you live and how close to the Fortnite servers you are this will make it substantially lower and this is probably one of the bigger parts so if you guys do live in like you know the UK this one might not work uh, there are a uh, dozen other ones if you guys search up best DNS settings or servers or something on YouTube or on Google it'll give you a lot of like you know primary and secondary uh, DNS servers you got some test out but these are my personal preference if you guys do live in the US uh, I think these are generally the best ones you guys can put so uh, yeah with that said we're gonna get out of there we're gonna blur the right screen obviously then you guys actually want to go over to the alternate port selection now this right here I've already done so I can't really like go step by step with you but I can obviously show you so yours will probably be set on automatic you guys want to go over to the manual and then you want to actually press this right here and you guys should not have the exact same number as me obviously so then you want to scroll all the way down go to the one that's all the way on the bottom no matter what it is and you guys click on it since I've already done that th done that this number was actually uh, the one that was up top so uh, yeah I've already done it if I do it again it will just mess it up so yeah just click on the button uh, number that's on the very bottom doesn't matter if it's not the same as mine but yeah as long as you do that you press continue everything is good you guys are good with the advanced settings y'all are done with that and that's gonna help to lower your ping uh, some maybe make your frame rate higher but you know you won't be getting that many lag spikes any drops or anything like that so the next thing you guys want to do obviously I did say this is the ultimate guide to make your game run smoother so next we are gonna go into the game uh, obviously TV and display options right here it's on general and uh, for all the PS4 people hopefully you guys are adapting with whatever settings I'm going into obviously you guys go over to the general TV I would recommend making this either 1080 or 720 there's really not much of a difference from 720 if you're playing uh, but you know I would recommend 1080 if you guys do have a wired connection it won't lag as much and if you do play on like a monitor or like a small TV you guys are good just make it 1080 yeah that's that's pretty obvious right there then you want to actually go to the advanced settings right here it says video fidelity and overscan we're gonna press that and you guys do see right here that mine is actually reset because uh, I accidentally unplugged my Xbox and replugged it back in since I was moving my desk around but basically you guys want to go over to the color depth my recording stopped right there but uh, okay uh, I, I don't know what happened right there but hopefully you guys did see that we changed it um, okay forget that you guys just you know make be sure to make it the highest bits per pixel if you guys don't have 36 bits per pixel do not worry then you guys most definitely do, do have the PC RGB setting the standard thing color space my bad so you guys have that uh, it all depends on obviously your monitor that you are playing on my monitor can go 36 bits per pixel which is a 12 bit and yeah it's obviously better than the 8 bit because there's gonna be more pixel on the screens which means it's gonna look better it's gonna look clearer uh, yeah I don't wanna you know spend too much time on this one this is basically just the quality of life making things a little better for you sorry for the um, video glitch right there I guess my Xbox had to turn off and back on quickly but whatever you guys are now officially done with the general TV display options next you guys want to go over to the power mode and startup so this one right here is obviously one of the more important ones and for all the Xbox users right here I, if you guys don't know what this is basically there's this power mode right here you guys can turn it uh, on instant on or energy saving so 
what energy saving actually does you guys will see it actually you know makes uh, your xbox start up faster it actually okay so the thing is every time you do turn on your xbox you know it's automatically on it doesn't have to boot up and stuff and uh it's honestly just takes up a lot of power to uh you know keep that running in the background what energy saving does is you know whenever you are actually playing a game in let's say you're playing fortnite it's actually going to take that energy that's running in the background and just put it all on the game that you are playing so it will make your game obviously run a lot smoother this one's one of the main steps if you are playing on xbox and i'm guessing there is a setting for ps4 for energy saving i would be like gladly turn that on if you guys are but re like right now i'm not really going to be playing so i'd rather have instant on but yeah i would definitely encourage you guys to put energy saving that you know makes your gameplay look a lot better a lot smoother and i barely lag when i do have that on so uh next up we are obviously i believe this might be the last step uh, for uh, this video, but you guys want to go all the way down to devices and streaming go down to blu-ray and What we are going to be doing is clearing the persistent storage So this is this might be probably the final step that you guys should be doing at all And that's obviously clearing your persistent storage. So we're gonna press that right there You're gonna press this three times to just get rid of any like, you know uh, What do you whatever you call it just unnecessary things you guys do not need uh, after that you guys are officially done. I mean your Fortnite should run as uh, you know as good as it should I, I don't know what else to tell you guys But that's the most you guys can do on your half the rest is all up to Fortnite and uh, their servers But yeah, also I want to let you guys know uh, for Xbox PS4 uh, You know be sure to delete games that you guys don't really play as much. So all of these games I do play um, So I'm not really deleting. I only have nine games too. So uh, yeah be sure to delete the games that you guys do not play because uh, it wastes a lot of storage, makes your game run a lot slower, and uh, that was the kind of the last tip. And yeah, this is a massive video. I'm sorry. If you guys made it this far, be sure to comment Ultimate Fortnite Guide. No, no, we're, I'll comment Ultimate, yeah, just comment Ultimate Fortnite Guide. I'll hard your comment because you guys are OG fans. I love each and every single one of you. It's been your boy, Just HK, and I'm out. Peace.